Hi everyone, this is Noopy from DMB Academy, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make basses like the ones in the track Answers by Infrared. This is the original track. Answers, answers, answers. And this is the recreation. Also, before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and keep notifications of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dnbacademy.com. We have great preset packs, producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Abyss, Mastec and many more, showing you how to make a track from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining the preset pass. The link is also in the description below. So that being said, let's get into the video. This will be the notes that we'll be playing. And now let's jump into Serum. So first we're going to oscillator A, analog, and go for basic CJW all the way up to B. Perfect, and then level all the way down, and let's open the editor and remove the root. Come over to oscillator A, FM from B, 25, and let's assign it to LFO1, around 32. Now let's modulate the LFO. A little bit around here. And let's see what it sounds so far. Okay, not very good. Oh, also bring the random down. Okay, so let's go for the filter next. Bring the key tracking. Cut off all the way down, and again, assign it to LFO1. Okay. A little bit of re resonance. And bring the fat all the way up. Adjusted to sixty four. Oh, and bring the in the LFO the envelope mode so it triggers every time it hits a note. Okay, perfect. Now let's go for the envelope and give it a little bit of attack and a little bit of a release. It's fine. 
Now let's jump into the effects. First, let's open the filter, grab a flange plus. Let's try to give it and here. Or to put it, let's make grab six three two. 32, why I'm being so picky here, because we want to assign notes to this cutoff. Put it bipolar, bring it all the way up, and that way it will follow is, always follows the notes and will play always in proper, because if we don't, I'll, I'll, I'll bypass it and I'll show you guys what happens if we don't do that. So bring this one a little bit up. Let's see how it sounds. Okay, so if we don't, if I bypass the, um, the note, and you see, and on this one, because the notes, the difference between notes is so close, you, you won't notice a lot of difference. But if, if you have like one octave up or something like that, you will notice a big difference in the, in the sound and it will completely change the sound of the flanging. And that way, every note you, you play, it will keep the same, let's say, the same effect that, that passes in the first note that you did it. <laughs> Next, we're going for distortion. Let's bring this filter up. Distortion. Uh, halfway. And then let's add an LFO. Not 25%. Now, let's give it a bit of width with Taurus. Bring the rate all the way down. Feedback down and the low pass filter all the way up. Now let's bring the mix down. Perfect. Next, we're going for the EQ. Let's polish a little bit the sound and for this one, we we're gonna want the um, note follower, like key following, basically. Bring this one down and move it, move it to peak. Bring it a little bit narrow. <laughs> Okay, and let's push it a little bit also in the highs. So let's bring this one here around twenty five. <clears throat> Okay, it's good so far. Let's bring this up. Next, we're going for the compressor. So let's move it to multiband. Round six. Now let's bring it a little bit higher. Okay, I want that squashy sound, but we have too much high, so let's bring it all the way down. And 
also admits. I think we're good. Nice. And for last, let's grab a reverb. And just remove spin, spin that. Size, bring it down a little bit. Decay all the way down. A little bit of low cut. And really important here, high cut, otherwise. Let's bring it a little bit more. You see too much river. That way it gets tighter and cleaner. size down. Cool. Now this is it. Now this is it in inside serum. We're finished here. Now let's go down to here and let's grab ProQ. So let's open the ProQ and give it a just a low cut to help to clean the those low ends because we'll have the sub aside so let's bring this a little bit that way we have some cleans so but then we're going to have a, a trasher trash <laughs> okay go over here in the multiband but I don't want this, so I want only two. So we're gonna move over here to the options and bands two. Okay. And that way I work with two bands. So for, let's have a split around 500, 450 or something like that. For this one, for the first one, I want a crunch crunch. And for the second one, I like some saturation, tape saturation. So we will use the trasher to give that extra drive and saturation on the highs. And that's it. This is my recreation of the base answers from infrared. So if you like this video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and keep notifications of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dnbacademy.com. We have great preset packs, producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Abyss, Mastec, and many more. Showing you how to make a track from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining the preset pass. The link is also in the description below. So thanks for watching, I hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next videos.